everybody, and welcome to Manga Pod. We are a podcast in which we all get together after we read all or part of a manga, and then we discuss it with friendship, love, and lots and lots of spoilers. This week, we are talking Demon Slayer, chapters 1 through 27. I am Aaron of Happily Aaron, your host, and with me are my two lovely co-hosts. I'll have you guys introduce yourselves, please. Hello, everybody. I'm Dodger, and that's it. Good. Succinct. I like it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lou. Good. Succinct. I like it. <laughs> Let's get to the demon slay. Hell yeah. <laughs> we got stuff to talk about with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if you guys have never joined us for a manga pod before, what we like to do is give you a short spoiler-free description of the manga that we read, aka summary, as well as our spoiler-free recommendations, whether we think you should spend time going to read this manga or not. That way, if it sounds like something you are interested in, you can take your leave once we get to spoiler section. We do ask that nobody post any spoilers in the chat until we get to spoiler section. After that, please don't post any spoilers for anything past chapter 27. Uh, that also includes the anime because one of the three of us hasn't watched it yet. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> so please do not post any spoilers. Um, no fake spoilers. No joke spoiler. None. We're very serious about our spoilers here. Um, so let's mm. go ahead and have Duga, if you don't mind reading the script yes. i'm so excited i never get to read these <laughs> we're switching it up. i know ever since the death of his father the burden of supporting the family has fallen upon tanjiro's shoulders though living impoverished on a rem remote mountain the kamado family are able to enjoy a relatively peaceful and happy life one day tanjiro decides to go down to the local village to make a little money selling charcoal on his way back, night falls, forcing Tanjiro to take shelter in the house of a strange man who warns him of the existence of flesh-eating demons that lurk in the woods at night. When he finally arrives back home the next day, he is met with a horrifying sight. His family has been slaughtered, and worse still, the sole survivor is his sister, Nezuko, who has been turned into a bloodthirsty demon. Consumed by rage and hatred, Tanjiro swears to avenge his family and stay by his only remaining sibling. Alongside the mysterious group calling themselves the Demon Slayer Corps, Tanjiro will do whatever it takes to slay the demons and protect the remnants of his beloved sister's humanity. Awesome. Thank you so much for reading that. You're welcome. Welcome. So let's go around and do spoiler-free recommendations. Uh, um, I can go first. Oh, let's do it. So, um... I enjoyed reading the manga, so I do recommend the manga. But if you have the opportunity to uh, to choose between the manga and the anime, the anime is being done by UFO Table, and it is so good. So um, I would recommend That's going that route. But um, the manga is not bad. Like you know, if you'd rather <laughs> like instead of pay for a Crunchyroll subscription, pay for like. Uh, I, is this on the Viz app? Yeah, I think it's, it's on, on 99 it's on Viz. Viz. Yeah. yeah, I read it on Viz. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, there, there are different ways to enjoy things. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The manga is one of them, but it's not the best <laughs> way. Ways. And Sorry, that's I it. like the way you said that. <laughs> um, I would second that. The anime is amazing. Mm -hmm. But um, just overall, story-wise, the story is great. Um, I love the characters. I love the story. Uh, and I think that, um, really from the beginning, it's pretty strong, at least in my opinion. Um, so I definitely, as, as a story, however you choose to ingest it, um, I, I think that it is a, a really cool story. And like Sam and I have been watching the anime and we're constantly like, oh, what if this, or what if this, you know, they've got little sprinkles of mystery in there and the pacing is like, it's pretty quick. So um, you get through a lot of stuff pretty fast, which is nice, I think. So, yeah, I would recommend it for sure. Um, I recommend it, too, as somebody who is experiencing uh, Demon Slayer for the first time because I have not watched the anime yet. Um, I really enjoyed what we read. Um, I, the, like Dodger said, it goes very fast. It's really fast-paced. Um, and I think at the beginning it's a little jarring, um, but – I really enjoy the world. I enjoy the characters. Um, there's a lot of like shonen tropes in it, but it's kind of also subverts them in the way that like it's still refreshing and it does them really well. 
Uh, so I definitely recommend it if you're looking for an adventure and adventure manga. Um, it's about like found family in a way too. Mm. Um, with they're building the little crew, which I love little crews getting Me together. Too. <laughs> so if that's something you're weak to. This is 100% something you need to check out. So I recommend it as well. Mm. So you got three wrecks. And it yeah. sounds like something you are interested in. Is there anything else you guys want to say for spoiler free? I, w- I was just going to say um, really quick as a tag onto yours that the anime does take some of the stuff that, that feels like it's breakneck pace and slows it down a bit. Um, okay. There were sections of our reading that I was like, oh shit, they got through that in literally two chapters. Um, when in the anime, there's lots more breathing room. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Cool. All mm-hmm. right. So we are going to jump into spoiler section. Countdown, please. Five, four, three, two, uno. Oh. Nezuko's God. The Uno <laughs> threw and, me off. And, and his Zenitsu, teacher. And Zenitsu's the, the birthday boy. So today's his, he, his it birthday. is. It's his birthday. Happy birthday, Zenitsu. Zenitsu. We Too bad really... you're worthless 90% of the time. <laughs> like 95? Maybe 95. I was going to say, 99. in what yeah, I've yeah, experienced yeah. of him, he's about 98.25% worthless. <laughs> Though he this, did have like a good how you heart. Used to rate, that's how you used to rate manga, Aaron. It is. Mm-hmm. It is. It is. <laughs> I'm bringing well, it back for the birthday, back. boy. I have to believe that they're starting him off worthless so that he has lots of room for growth. <laughs> yeah. He has so much room. <laughs> Everybody that- does, I think. Every, every, all of the characters have yeah. some kind of like horrific flaw where you're like, you, you, I'm sure you'll grow. <laughs> yeah. Except Nezuko, she's perfect. Except yeah. Nezuko, she's perfect. She doesn't need to change. She's Too baby. Precious. I love her. I, we can start by talking about characters. Yeah. Cause this. Oh, I was. Very... I was gonna say, Aaron. What did you expect? What oh. were your expectations going into this manga? Since Lou and I had already seen the anime. Um, I had heard nothing but good things about the anime. It's posted all over my <laughs> timeline on Twitter and Instagram, like all over the place. I've heard amazing things about it. Um, and so I kind of figured going into it, it has the same hype that Boku no Hero had mm. in a way. Um. And so going into it, I expected to really enjoy it because that's something, a very similar manga that I absolutely adore. Um, Right. So Mm -hmm. I knew that there was a lot of character driven. I knew it was very character driven. Um, I didn't know anything about the world and like the demons or even what it was about. I've only seen memes of the characters. (laughs) So so I was excited going into it because character driven stories are my jam and Mm. so and i was not disappointed on that front at all so yeah um yeah i have another thing like when we talk about the art i have something i'll bring up at that point but um should we talk about characters sure how do you guys feel about tanjiro tanjiro he he is sword deku yes that's that's it that's That's what i i I guess so i thought of him as different personalities Yeah, so the, like, that was something when I was talking about shonen tropes. There was this part of me, as I was reading it, I didn't realize it till later, but I was like, he is such a shonen protagonist, like 100%, -hmm. where he, like, tragic tragedy happens, he's building on that, he gets the power, and all of a sudden he's just, like, fucking amazing with his power. Like, he's just so good. And that, talking about fast, like, break, it was just like, oh, he knows he killed a rock and he's golden. He's good. (laughs) Um, and it took two years. It took two yeah. years for him to kill the rock, Aaron. Which was which was like you know like five panels. It was like half because a chapter. Yeah, it goes. wasn't even. It was like one twentieth of the chapter. It did not. Take it was a montage. <laughs> we got him on. His hair grew. It's symbolic. <laughs> I was actually um, really sad when his hair got cut. I was like, no, I know. See long hair, Tanjiro. It's like just keep it long. They don't have to. They don't have to do the shonen anime girl thing and cut off the hair. Like, it's they true. Don't have to do that, but uh, yeah. So I, um, that happened. But then as I was like, once he got past all that, like, oh, he got strong really, really fast. Um, he's a very mm-hmm. interesting character because his personality is so different from the usual shonen protagonist. Um, 
And so I really enjoyed how calm he was um, and how, like, placating and calming he was as a character, um, but still young and childish. Like, he didn't feel old, like an old man or anything, if right. that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, he feels like I think I think they did a really good job of making him feel like he was an older brother. Yes. Like, yes. yeah, like this, the idea of him being an older brother to so many siblings that plays into so much stuff in this manga and especially in the way that he behaves with like his peers. Sometimes you're like, mm-hmm. come on, <laughs> yeah. like nobody else would accept Zenitsu yeah, <laughs> and be like. <laughs> All right, buddy. Yeah, let's. I guess let's go slay some demons. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's like, "I'm gonna die." <laughs> and like, there's another like they do like reinforce that big brother thing without telling. Like they do a really good job of showing with that. Mm. They're not like, "Oh, he's the big mm. brother." They're like, "No, he does these things." It's like, let's go. And like you said with Zinzi too, he uh, when he first meets him and he's like trying to marry that girl. The girl's like, I don't want to date you. I don't want to be with you. There's the whole, like, he, um, Tanjiro tries to take him and be like, hey, listen, that's not how we do stuff. In, like, a very right. big brother yeah. way where he's like, I'm really done with the fact that you're doing this and I have to tell you, but I'm still going to tell you and try to steer you in the right direction with this. <laughs> right. Um, so that's just, like, one example. And then he even does it with um, Pig Boy, Pig Boy. Pretty pig boy. What's his name? Inosuke? Uh, Inosuke. Inosuke. My favorite character. I'm sure nobody gonna, could guess when, that. When he appeared, I was like, ah, Brooke. <laughs> ah, this is the trope I love. Wait, wait. The how did shitty you guys, aggro character. <laughs> how did you guys react when he like took off his mask and you see that he's Bishonen boy? I did not expect that at all. I did not. No. Did not expect it. I... I expected like scars and scrunch because that's been something that's something very consistent with a lot of these characters is that they're scarred like there are yeah. physical like def- deformation no deformity what's the word I'm looking for is deformities deform- yeah yes. deformity yeah nailed it um there's like the scars and everything which you don't see in a lot of manga um and I love that that happen that's consistent with so many characters. So when mm. the mask falls off, that's what you're expecting by this point. And it's just like the prettiest boy. The so um, I had in in much the same way as you, Aaron, I had seen goofs on this dude with his mask off before. And I did not when he took the mask off and it was the guy from the memes. I was like, oh, my God, it's that guy. <laughs> I did not expect this at all. I so, also, uh, yeah. oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I, oh, I was going to say, I, I also just never expected the mask to come off. I hadn't seen fair. any, like, memes of the mask off, like, of him. And so I 100% was like, ah, oh, he's never going to take the mask off. That's really fascinating. And then we're going to get this really in-depth backstory, and that's when the mask comes off. And instead it was because right. he got a concussion. <laughs> Because he's an idiot. Like, let's be honest, he's an idiot. One hundred percent. I love that when he's introduced. Um, it's such an epic moment when he's introduced. You're between Mm -hmm. like, you're kind of scared of him, and you're also like, wow, this guy is badass. He's another demon slayer, and then he turns out he's just a big doofus. Yes. Yeah, and I like that his first interaction with Inosuke is so volatile as well. Like Inosuke is like, "Don't you're stepping on a kid? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you?" Right? right. Um, I yeah, I liked that because once again, it was Inosuke being like, "I have compassion for literally everything on the planet, but like, what's wrong with you?" <laughs> Wait, do you mean Tan Tan Tanjiro? Tanjiro, yeah. Okay. Okay. Sorry, yeah. did I say the wrong name? Oh, you said Inosuke, so I was just trying to keep Oh, up. my bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I agree with, with that. Like, Tandro, you were talking about the big brother, going back to that. He's just so, like, taking everything in and calm because he's been the big brother. He's just like, yeah. mm-hmm. all right, here we go again. How do I deal with this stupid idiot? <laughs> it makes um, you wonder, like, if he had any siblings 
because we didn't get a whole lot of time with the siblings mm -hmm, mm. that you know if he had any siblings were that were equally as stupid mm. that's true clearly he, he has experience we're just constantly getting in trouble yeah yeah that was like, very were... oh go ahead no i was gonna say like uh you can kind of glean from his also from his interactions with zanitsu like these are character traits that he's dealt with before like he knows how to deal with these types of people right. mm -hmm. yeah or maybe that's very comforting he... Like or maybe it's because uh, he's the head of the household mm -hmm. that he's kind of had to grow and mature to deal with, like to become malleable with who he has to interact with. Yeah. Mm. Um, um, oh. You go. I was going to say, what do you guys, because we haven't really talked about her yet, aside from that she's baby and great. How do you guys feel about Nezuko, like her story so far? So far? Yeah. I think um, I think she is important outside of being just motivation for Tanjiro. Mm -hmm. Like that's the vibe that I'm getting so far from the story, because um, specifically in that fight where they like after they they meet a uh, big bad, <clears throat> and you know he sends those two demons after them, mm -hmm. um, you kind of see glimmers of her being on level or on par with them mm -hmm. uh, despite not having consumed human flesh so like i think i like that she's not just someone that that's uh a damsel in distress like she's does by design a powerful character but like i like that she's not powerful just for the sake of being you know like a trump card for tanjiro mm -hmm. uh that it's more to the effect of like no she's gonna play an important part in this story Mm. so yeah i want her I, to do I, more mm -hmm. yeah and i yeah. think she will mm -hmm. I, but right now she's literally just like in a box <laughs> yeah she mm -hmm. she gets bigger oh. and she kicked off that demon she yeah she kicks demon. off demon's heads oh, great yeah. love it yeah um i do agree with you lou that she seems to be growing in importance like she, her role is still being like still happening um, and that it's mm -hmm. not just directly tied to Tendro and like how his goal is like to help his sister, um, but his is grown as well. Like his is like he wants to take on other demons to like protect people. Um, you know what? I'm sorry, but I just I... had this thought. Uh, this reminds me a lot of Full Metal, Full Metal Alchemist, like a lot oh. of Full Metal Alchemist. I can see parts of that, like the brother restoring and... the sibling you know how mm. uh both of them engage in combat mm -hmm. neither um, like they're in it together they both got to have like personalities though nezuko because of like the nature of her situation she doesn't really get much of a personality yet i guess um like they've established that she's she's unique maybe in that mm -hmm. she's able to sleep instead of drink blood awesome mm -hmm. yeah um and yet she's still getting stronger Ooh, mystery but like we still we don't she can't talk you know not that that's all that's necessary to have a character but like we see her so rarely and in those moments she's under this suggestion of humans are family Mm -hmm. And so she's like really nice to humans and she loves her brother and she kicks demons heads off. And we don't, yeah. <laughs> you know, like I would love to have opportunities to, to get more of what's going on in her head. Cause we don't really mm -hmm. know. Yeah. We don't even like, is her mindset just like that of literally of a child or is there right. like, who she was before? Is that still within her or like how has becoming demon changed her too? So, yeah, mm -hmm. there's a lot of space there for her, us to learn more about her. I think she's, um, I think she's really sweet. And I do like what, when she's there, she does have some like really cute moments and then badass mm -hmm. moments. But in terms of like her overall arc, I feel like it hasn't even started with her. Yeah, character. same. Um, that is something though that I was very appreciative within this manga is that the lady characters, the lack of fan service in terms of clothes and outfits and all that, I was like, very nice. It was very refreshing totally. not to have that thrown in your face, especially what's up, Lou? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> uh, 
that's that's it. Nothing, nothing is going on. <laughs> All of us is just are just staring at each other. Um, I'm not gonna no. say anything else. I'm not, <laughs> not gonna say. No. I liked it. I appreciated it because it's so rare. It's such a rare find, especially in shonen. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. so I just really appreciated that if a character shows up and is wearing like whatever she wants to wear, that's totally fine. It's just you know how sometimes it gets very obviously Perfect. male gaze. Yes. Um, so I enjoyed the fact that that was not the case. Yeah, I think honestly the the only like super annoying trope that was in the reading was um uh the the doctor demon and her little minion how he's like obsessed with her. Yeah. <laughs> like every time they went back to his panels he was like she's so beautiful today. I wonder if she'll be beautiful tomorrow. Oh, of course she'll be beautiful tomorrow. What am I thinking? <laughs> There's serious shit going on. It's like weird panel filler. <laughs> yeah, he threw me him as a character is probably who I like the least. Just because I was like, I don't <laughs> connect with you in any way. And it's like I don't quite understand why you exist. I thought when when we first saw him, I actually thought that maybe she was gonna be killed in that fight. Mm-hmm. And he was gonna have to like join the crew. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And be like their doctor boy. That did not happen. <laughs> no. Which is probably for the best. I guess a demon slayer doesn't need to be traveling around with two demons. But, <laughs> but I was like, oh shit. Is she going to die? Is he going to have to join the crew? No, that does no. not happen. Mm-mm. I did like that fight. Because that was probably the longest fight we had read up to that point. Um, the fight with mm-hmm. the two demons who were wanting to become part of the 12 demon clan. Or whatever it is. Um so I did really like that fight. Um, like the two demons that they had there, I thought their design was really interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it was another fight that it lasted like three chapters. I think it might have lasted like four four chapters maybe. Um, yeah, it went by pretty fast. But I still was very <clears throat> engaged in the fight and the way that like that was portrayed. Um, mm. I still get a little confused, and I think this would be better <laughs> in the anime um just with how fast all the training and everything happened um Mm. how the powers within the world like really work because we see a bunch of the stuff with like the arrows going this way and this way and the arrows and he's like oh his power is getting into me and so it's just like i don't (laughs) know how he's counteracting this first of all i don't understand what's happening and so it's just like like there's simplicity in terms of like this is a demon what makes a demon and this is what isn't and then like demon slayers are this so there's like this simplicity within the world that's nice but then the way that all of the fight fighting works like i said i think it's because it happens so quickly that it just doesn't feel organically explained i don't know that that's like explained better in the anime necessarily (laughs) what i will say is that the the fights are so clear in the anime to the point that when I was reading the manga, I was like, wow, this is a little muddy. I thought okay. that the fights were muddy. So that's not just you. Um, yeah, the, in the anime, they're done so well. The fights are so beautiful. Um, but for me, I think, like, think of the demons. Okay. Think of the demons like um, characters from Naruto and how people have, like, bloodline techniques. It's mm-hmm. so, like each demon has a potential for their own like blood power okay and not everybody unlocks it not everybody necessarily has one but because those demons were given power from that like fucking fedora piece of shit yeah um their their like blood powers were either unlocked or became stronger somehow Mm -hmm. whereas demon slayers train in like a style so okay. like Tanjiro was trained in like the water style by that guy for a year. And then he was like, all right, go keep training in the water style for another year. I'm going to leave you alone. Kill that rock. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So then Aaron, Aaron, how long did it take you to read the 27 chapters for, for manga pad? Manga pad. Uh, an hour or two. Okay. Yeah, that was really fast. This it's so quick. W- what we read is 14 episodes of the anime. Oh. Yeah, it's paced out. I actually would enjoy it, yeah. 
yeah. having it and spaced like, out. Like no filler. Like none of it is filler. It's, <clears throat> it's just better explained. And yeah. that's yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds like something I'd be like rolling to. Because I was just David so, would love it too. You guys should definitely yeah. watch it. Yeah. Because it was just so um I don't know, it kind of got thrown into it. And the way that the art made it just didn't make it any clearer um, Mm -hmm. with the art style. It wasn't like, I guess we can, this is going into the art. Sure. Kind of jumping out of the, out of order here. Um, But (laughs) with the art, um, when it wasn't like action stuff, it was okay too. But then the action, like I got what was happening, but it still felt jumpy from one page or like one action to the next. Um, and there was a lot of times where it, there would be one page of it just being a reaction shot. And that was a very consistent thing. So it'd be like character does something on one page and then on the next page is the reaction. And then the next page is reaction to that. And so it just kind of like, it made the reading go faster, but it felt kind of clunky in terms mm. of progression within the fights. Um, and there were some times where the expressions didn't quite play um but i under i still understood every like what was going on outside the fight the fights were where it got really muddled um but it definitely feels like the beginning of an art style if that makes sense yeah like the characters um i never got confused on who the characters were i thought all the character designs were really cool um and i do like the designs of the demons a lot too um and so I think somebody in chat uh, said kind of like Hunter Hunter, um, and I completely can see how like that could be a comparison. Um, mm. But I think it like has really good. There were like some really good spots that I really enjoyed, and I think it's going to get better as it goes. I think it's just because it is the first twenty-seven chapters of a new mm-hmm. mangaka um, that. I think is kind of why it feels a little bit more of like an acquired taste, like someone in the chat said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I was reading, I read something like somebody was talking about on, I think it was my anime list or somewhere when I was looking up stuff for it, um, about how one of the reasons the first bit might feel so fast is also because of how quickly things get um, canceled in Shonen Jump. And so there might have been a case, it might have been a case of uh, where they're like, all right, I want to get to the meat of the story. Like, I want to throw out, this is what this is about. This is what this is about. Demons, demon slayers, training, magic. There you go. Now let's go into it. Um, Just because of how, uh, just how quick they needed to have the pace b Um, And the manga, I think, started in like 2016. So it's a very recent one um and so yeah so i found it interesting too that it i don't know how popular it is in japan that's something i want to look into about how big it is over there too right because the anime is going crazy like the anime has taken off like insane and like lou was saying um it's being done by an incredible production studio but, um, yeah, it's just taken over everything. Like I said, it was, feels kind of comparable to how Boku no Hero was, like, two years ago. And Attack right. on Titan was before that. <laughs> but those are my so, thoughts on the art. If you guys have questions. So, um, like, I'll kind of echo what you said, where the combat sequences are difficult to follow at times because not enough is explained. Like, you're given a lot of information in the panels and you're kind of expected to infer exactly what's going on. And Mm -hmm. I think that that's kind of a shortcoming of the, of the medium that the story is being presented in is that for what the mangaka is trying to accomplish, it would be impossible for them to to go through every detail. Mm -hmm. So for example, some of the styles, um, like, or some of the, some of the water style attacks, that Tanjiro uses, uh, you get a better sense for what they're meant to be or how they're delivered in the anime because they have the luxury of being able to to show you. Uh, mm-hmm. As opposed to the manga, like you just kind of get like the after of what it does, um, generally speaking. 
And um, apart from that, I would say that uh, like I understand, I feel like I understand this manga because the ad the anime adaptation is like pretty close to one to one. And um, yeah, I don't I don't think I would have uh, understood it as much if I would have read the manga first. So, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. yeah, like in from our perspective, I, I like the character designs. Um, I think Nezuko is adorable. And um, yeah, like it, it has its own unique style and that I, that much I can appreciate. But there are definitely parts where it does get a little messy. So like one part that really stood out to me was when Kibutsuji was in the uh, like uh, walking through the alleyway where he runs into like three people. Yeah. Um, there are a few panels on that that look really, really rough. Yeah, like small but panels. Like small panels, but it's not something that would um, but it, but it was noticeable enough that like I actually like showed my girlfriend. Um, like a zoomed in of look, this is the art of the show we really like, mm. and like it's it it kind of like breaks immersion. You know, and that's mm -hmm. that's one thing that I feel is necessary for manga is for the art to be at least like it has to be good, but it also has to be consistent. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it, it stays it it's difficult to stay immersed in what's going on in the story. So. Yeah. Um, people in the chat have been saying that the art gets better in later chapters. So if that's the case, and if it does eventually slow down in later chapters, I think it'll be a better read then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about you, Dude? Yeah, um, I uh, I think it's the same for me that um, coming from the anime, I didn't need things to be like explained to me. But I did absolutely notice that the the clarity of the fights was just not there. Um, and there were definitely like moments between chapters where you were like, wait, what's going on? Oh, this is just like a weird. OK. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, like I didn't mind the pacing. But now that we're talking about it, I'm like, it is really fast, though, like too fast, I think. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I'm glad that when they decided to do the anime of it, that they took more time with it. Um, but just specifically talking about the manga, um, I do really like the character designs. And I think, you know, nobody has same face syndrome. You always know what character is which one. Um, I think that there are lots of really cool like the the way that the demons are made and the ideas for the demons and all of that stuff i think all of it is is really neat it's just yeah if if the fights had been clearer i think it would have added a lot um and so hopefully since it sounds like from chat uh that sort of stuff gets better and the art in general gets better um mm -hmm. then that would that would eliminate my issue yeah <laughs> I don't mind the sketchy style <laughs> of the art. I think that it's totally fine and it works for it. I just, I just need sketchy and clear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, yeah. If I can have both, then that's great. Mm -hmm. um, something like as you were talking um, about like the pacing of it. Uh, so we got introduced to like the main antagonist, uh, the big baddie. Um, but because yeah. of how fast the pace was, I didn't feel any sort of real impact from him i was just like oh there he is okay nope they're moving on um just because of how quick he was introduced and like he's supposed to be this really big threat and i didn't get that ominous feeling from him um and so i he very much felt like the most shonen tropey part of it for me um mm. was the big baddie who like ever people want to be a part of be with him because he has all these big promises and power and stuff um, right and i think that like if it goes a little slower <laughs> later on um he can have a little bit more breathing room to be introduced as like a the antagonist that i would see this kind of manga needing um but yeah so like with him i didn't even wasn't even that interested in him 
Um, right. And mm-hmm. so, yeah, and I think that's much very due to how quick the pacing with him was. For sure. It's like they they introduced him, but they still wanted there to be mystery. Mm-hmm. So they introduced him and oh, his human wife and human baby. Gasp. What's that all about? Oh, he's gone. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, um, and like now it feels like classic sort of tower climbing where it's, oh, he's got 12 officers that are between us and him. Oh, these weren't actually officers. They were people who were led to believe they could be officers. Okay. And this guy, oh, he used to be an officer, but he's not anymore, right? Like we're we're trying to like climb the rungs to eventually get to that guy. So I'm kind of hoping that it doesn't go in that really obvious direction. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I hope that, I hope he shows up again and is like, yo, mm-hmm. <laughs> yo, what up? I'm super evil. Let me demonstrate. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's just, he's a guy in a fedora that screamed at people about whether or not he was looking old and then killed them. <laughs> and that's like all that we saw. <laughs> so dangerous. <laughs> yeah. And then the, I guess the nurse or the doctor, right? The doctor demon. Mm-hmm. She was the one who was like, he's not all powerful he's actually terrified of other demons working together and killing him Mm -hmm. which Mm -hmm. i think is is an interesting idea um yeah yeah and i do like that in this reading we got to see lots of like at first it felt like oh all demons are like bloodthirsty weirdos and then there's nezuko and nezuko's different and then we met the big bad guy and we were like what he's living a totally normal seeming life and then we met the doctor and her her little buddy Mm -hmm. who were like yes we do need blood but we're good people you know (laughs) um so i like that we got in this reading we got like a pretty good breadth of like oh demons could be all sorts of people Mm -hmm. um and it sort of helps in this whole story of like compassion that Tanjiro is going on of like I'm gonna save my sister you know I I feel bad for the demons when they die and like for the human that they used to be like that whole idea Mm -hmm. yeah Yeah. cool Mm. (laughs) (laughs) yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I'm looking at my notes that are not on I'm not oh. on a sticky note that's all bent and I can't find it because I'm sitting on it. <laughs> oh, so yeah. um, going back to Zenitsu, I know like yes. this is like really like long or like just a tangent, but all right, you know how he had his one moment of glory? Sure. In mm-hmm. the manga? Like no impact at all, really, for me. It's just like, like literally from one panel to the next, like nothing. Yeah. Like I don't know. Like it is really frustrating because hey. I had a different experience the first time I saw that. And it was yeah. way better. <laughs> yeah. But again, we've established that like the way that sh- that shit looks in the anime is so awesome. Yeah. That- but I mean like there there was no real build up to that attack. They're at all. Right. In the manga, which there, where there could have been. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, there's just him no, in his stands, us, like, knocked out. That's yeah. all it was. Yeah. And then, like, one panel later, he's on the other side. Like, he's out of the room, like, putting his sword away. And the guy's head and is falling off. And then screaming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That's how, yeah. that's what the fights most of the time felt like to me, too. Um, And his whole thing, I was like, all right. He's got he got through the demon the slayer competition whatever like he got through that there's obviously something there um, right. and so I knew he had to have something where he like goes real batty if he's in a dire situation because um, we see that very often and stuff and right. so but I didn't expect it to be that he passes out and then becomes like. <laughs> A badass because his natural instinct, like his fight or flight, kicks in. Mm-hmm. And I was like, he's like a fainting goat that just goes crazy. <laughs> he's just 
just like a fainting goat. Just yeah. a fainting goat. Um, when we yeah. watched when we watched that episode, Sam was so mad because <laughs> he like passed out. He did the badass thing, and Sam was like, "Oh fuck!" His his true form unleashed at last, and then he was like, "Wait, he doesn't know he does that. He doesn't know he does that." I was like, he doesn't honey otherwise why would he be scared all the time <laughs> Sam was just like i can't. no one's told him no one's told him that he passes out and turns into a badass no one's ever seen this and told him <laughs> that's fair it's like that fair is, question yeah. he was trained by a guy like did that guy just go you know it's better if he doesn't, know, like, <laughs> he doesn't yeah if he becomes aware of it does it suddenly stop working <laughs> yeah. is that his character arc it's fair <laughs> Never if he learning. isn't so petrified that he passes out, will he never be able to use this technique again? The ultimate fainting goat. <laughs> the ultimate fainting goat. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I'm interested in what his like. I mean, there's just so many. Like I said, the characters are kind of finding the family, the little tree dude for quadro. <laughs> the quadro, yeah, the yeah, quadro. yeah. Um. Yeah. And so we haven't really gotten the backstories for anybody else yet. Because like I said, like we've been talking about, it's been so fast paced. There hasn't really been a breathing room for anything like that to happen. Um, I'm interested if his, I want to see if his, uh, his teacher comes back and what his teacher comes back mm. to do. Like when he comes back. Tengu mask boy. Yeah. The long nose. Mm. Do you think he's mm. old or young? If you know, don't say anything. <laughs> Okay, good. <laughs> good. <laughs> Both of you. The... All right, cool. I'm gonna go watch the anime. Find out if he's hot or not. If he's hot, young or hot, old. I I fully expect you to like catch up in one day. Yeah, please. 20... Oh my gosh, I just that would be great. Could you just text me how you feel about it? My feels. Aren't there like how many episodes are there? Twenty. Twenty-two. Oh Something no. Like okay. Twenty-two. It's okay. It's going to blast by. Blast. Is I it literally, I, I watched the, f- yeah. I watched the first like five episodes and I was like, this is pretty great. And then I just didn't watch it for a really long time. And then there were like 18 episodes out. I was like, oh fuck. And just <laughs> binged it. Just binged all of it. And now I'm so invested. And every time an episode comes out, I'm like, Sam, what are you doing right now? We have to watch Demon Slayer. <laughs> like, it's just, it's great. Oh wow, that's awesome. actually, actually now that we're pointing this out, one thing that I kind of feel the manga does better than the anime is where it chooses to stop its chapters compared mm-hmm. to where episodes of the anime stop in their action. I think that's fair. The episodes like, feel very like and I'm done. <laughs> like you need like all right. I feel like it happens like they'll stop in the middle of something major going on, like very cliffhangery, and it kind of like really lends itself to binge watching. Mm. Um, as opposed to the manga, I feel like um, each chapter had more satisfying conclusions in terms of where they were in relation to what they were, the story they were telling. Mm-hmm. Mm. I could see that. I thought that. Yeah, I like thinking about it now. The manga had very clear, like, cutting points. Mm-hmm. Where are I good at that? Um, cool. I don't have anything else to touch on. Do you guys have anything else you want to say? No, I don't think so. Good. I don't either. All right. Final thoughts and ratings. I'm interested to hear what your guys' ratings are as people who come from anime to manga. Right. Anime to the manga. I think I would probably give it like a seven. I still, I still love the story and I still love the characters. Um, I think it's, it's big drawback is that the fights aren't super clear. Um, but maybe I'm able to give it a seven because I'm coming from the anime and I'm like, but I know what happened. (laughs) Uh, but yeah, I, I really, I really love Demon Slayer. I'm glad that we got through as much as we did. I would give it a seven. I think. I would give it uh, about a seven and a half. Um, though I would say that if I didn't watch the anime before this, my score would probably do- drop down to like a six and a half. 
-hmm. for that very same reason that Dodger gave. So like the fact that I have a better sense of what happened in those fights than someone that has only seen the manga, Aaron. Um, I, I feel like I, I have an unfair advantage in that regard. Mm -hmm. So like that extra clarification goes a long way in elevating it. Now, that said, uh, the, other, the other thing that's bringing the score down, I feel, is the inconsistency of the art. So mm -hmm. like once the art becomes more polished, uh, which apparently it does later, and, and more consistent, and the story finally gives itself room to breathe, I think that's when this manga is really going to take off. So it wouldn't surprise me if the score shoots up from here. Mm -hmm. That's what, yeah, Lou, you like said my exact thoughts. Um, like, I think I'd give it a 6.5 to a 7. Um, just because, like, yeah, everything Lou said, like, it's so fast paced. There's no breathing room at the beginning to really get into, like, how all of the techniques work, everything with that. Um, the building up of how uh, Tanjiro learns his skills is so quick. The big baddie getting introduced so quick. Like, there's just no time to really feel invested in any of those things that are happening. But mm. the characters are really strong. Um, the potential is really strong. Um, I did enjoy, when I was able to figure out what was going on in the fights, I really did like what I was seeing, and I saw a lot of potential there to be really excited about the fights that happen in the future um and i think the last arc that we read about with the monster demon house uh really showcased that um with how the one demon had the drums and it would turn the room and stuff like that so the fights are getting more interesting because they're getting more breathing room to happen mm -hmm. um and so that makes me look way forward to it and like lou said it <laughs> sorry watson <laughs> That's it. Come on. trying to be a sneaky sneaky <laughs> thing um yeah that makes me think that my score will go up really high but there is a lot that's hard to follow and things like that but the heart of the manga is definitely the heart of the story is definitely there for me mm -hmm. and so i enjoyed it and it goes really quick there's just there's also downsides for something that goes really quick too so mm. Yeah, I think a 6.5 is what I'm... But I'm hyped to watch the anime for it. Yes. So. Yes. Cool. Do you guys have anything else to say? You good? Uh, I think I'm good. Good. I'm cool. Good. Yeah. So that wraps up our discussion on Demon Slayer. I'm going to read the... Oh, boy. <laughs> Hold on. Is it long? It's real long. <laughs> Hang oh, on. Oh, gosh. I'm so glad I Can didn't I have to do this. Can I tear it down? Oh, <laughs> I'm going to do the anime version. <laughs> there we go. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to read the description for the manga that we are reading next week. And y'all in chat get to guess what it is. <clears throat> One fateful day. All of humanity. Hum <clears throat> Let me start that over. <laughs> One fateful day. All of humanity was blank by a blinding flash of blank. After several millennia, high schooler blank awakens and finds himself lost in a world of blanks. However, he's not alone. His science loving friend blank's been up and running for a few months and he's got a grand plan in mind to blank blank with the power of blank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, chat got it instantly. <laughs> <laughs> too easy, too easy. <laughs> <laughs> it is Dr. Stone. Dr. Blank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is which is basically just like modern JoJo's. Like that's yeah. what it feels like for me. <laughs> that's what you were saying earlier, yeah. It's um, a science shonen. <laughs> yes. It's very fun. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. We are reading volumes one through four, chapters one through thirty-four. I mm -hmm. do not like yes. having a window right in front of me. Can I just say? I hate having a window right in front of my face. Because bugs and squirrels just jump and appear. <laughs> and if somebody's walking, it scares the crap out of me. It's my biggest fear. And then a fucking squirrel <laughs> just jumps at me. Or a big old moth. Anyway. I mean, that is there is a window there, though. <laughs> to protect you from the people. And but... The when squirrels and the moths. Faces appear in windows. You don't know if That's fair. the window will be strong enough. Listen, Buffy the Vampire Slayer scarred me for life. Okay. 
<laughs> you never know what can break glass. <laughs> uh, anyway, Dr. Stone next week. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chapters mm-hmm. 1 through 34. That is what we will be checking out. Uh, let's go around and shut out our shut out our stuff real quick. Yep. Um, I'm Aaron, a happy Aaron. I have a YouTube channel. Uh, it's kind of inactive, but all of a uh, bunch of anime reviews, first impressions and stuff on there, as well as previous manga pods. I am much more active on Twitter and Instagram, happily Aaron, all across the everything, if you want to come and check me out over there. And me. She's also writing a book and is a beautiful genius. Aww. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm Dodger. You can find me at Dex Bonus on pretty much everything. Uh, I stream nearly every day. I just got back from a week hiatus. Don't look at the don't look at the video manager from the last week and be like, <laughs> she never streams. I om- I almost stream every day. Okay. <laughs> um, my husband says, "Oh fuck," and that's it. Really, there's nothing else to say. Come check me out, <laughs> Lou. My. My name is Lou, and uh, I have a YouTube channel called Lou Talks Anime. Uh, I rarely post on there, and that's fine. You know, I've I've grown to accept the fact that when I get inspired, I'll make a video, and it'll end up on there, and then I'll go like inactive for a few months. So, like maybe if you want a, su- a surprise in your sub feed at some point within the next few years, you can go ahead and check that out. <laughs> also. I have a uh, another podcast that I do with, my, well, with friend of the show Dakota Broski called The Anime Hour. Um, I'm currently editing another episode for it, so uh, it's it's pretty fun. Uh, so I recommend uh, checking that out. So yeah, it's. it's I was good. literally it's, about to be like, "What's the other podcast you do?" Yeah, so <laughs> this is called The Anime Hour, and I'm more likely to post on there than on my my main channel. So that's my life now. Oh, and talk to me on Twitter at uh, Lutox Anime. And that's my stuff. Awesome. Um, if you guys would like more manga pod, we do have a show Reddit, reddit.com slash r slash manga pod. Um, you can find um, a recommendation thread there. If you'd like to see us talk about a specific manga, you can go ahead and comment there as well as upvote it if you see the one there already. We also do uh, web comics and manhwa and stuff like that. So if any web, we're open. We like comics here of the yeah. Asian variety. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah if you want to go and pop that over there we will also be uploading the schedule very soon um otherwise we will be here same time same place next week 7 30 p.m pacific time. <laughs> i like that she's like moving it there's, there's purring there's screaming <laughs> it's it's a delight in my house <laughs> <laughs> right as you said that you just hear sam in the background <gasps> ah! But we'll be here same time, same week, same week, next same week. S- not not the same week. Doctor Stone. Doctor Stone. Doctor Stone. Chapters one through thirty-four. Yeah. <laughs> Rock on. Did it. Yeah. Bye everybody. Bye. Thank you for Bye. watching. Bye. 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 Bye.